up guys i'm coming to y'all playing jane tonight so i want to do a quick video so i was actually on my way i was on my way home from work and i stopped by a piercing gallery because i actually a tattoo shop i wanted to get my ears pierced again so when i was younger i used to be real crazy with it i used to always want to like pierce my ears and over the years i've always this has always been here for years. I haven't taken this out since my daughter was like, she's 13 now, so this has not been out for a while. Um, I've been thinking about actually possibly changing it, but these are stainless steel, so it's been in there for a minute. And I have, I didn't pierce them like close to the bone. It was like on the fatty part and outside and all the way down my ear. So the very last person I ever did was right here in the middle. But the holes closed up. I wanted to see if it could possibly be, you know, repaired because the hole definitely closed up. And and it's the same on this ear as well. I have them going all the way down. I only wear this loop, this loop right here, but I think I'm gonna add loops to these two. And then just wear the regular studs on these. Cause I don't really like wearing studs on these. I don't know why, I just don't. I went to Sally's and I got these. I don't know why I didn't think of this with my daughters. Like, this is so simple, y'all, to pierce your ears. I literally just re-pierced my ears myself right here in the middle. And I've seen so many videos where people it just worked perfectly fine. You can either get this one, or they have this this brand that comes in the blue, but it's more like a triangle like this. Like, you know, my fingers aren't long enough, but it's like a triangle like this. And it's like the pieces, it just looks, the contraption doesn't look as sturdy and they'll get the job done like this. So I don't, I don't really trust the other one unless you are just like really good with it. But this one is more like to the point. So I just did this one and I was like, oh my God, let me turn the camera because I can't believe I did it. Like when I did all these piercings, you guys, I used to do them with needles. Like I didn't do all of this. Like I was just weird back then. I don't know. I'm getting ready to actually repierce the other ear and I don't need a guide. I mean, it's pretty like you put it on. It's and it has like this little, that will kind of like, I don't know, I, you can use this as a guide if you measure. So if you put it on your regular part of your ear, you can kind of like, you know, kind of put the dot and then kind of guide it. Since it's already on this part of the ear on the inside, my the back of my earlobe automatically touches this part right here. So, and I still have the, the hole there, as you can see right here, it's just that, the back of it closed so nothing can push through let me just look at mirror real quick and make sure it's definitely not moving through that little indentation yep it's there and yeah making sure it's there i'm gonna hold it straight oh my gosh i can't believe i'm about to do this again you can hear it before I do this. It comes with like these little springs in it. Like you can see it. Once you get it all the way like back, it's gonna stop. Then you press it a little bit of force and then it's gonna do the rest with the spring itself. And it's gonna click, oh my gosh. The little back head is gonna pop off. The plastic part is still there, but it breaks in half as it's placed in your skin. Like the plastic part breaks off of the earring as it snaps in. But the earring is pretty much on this thing here. I'm gonna show you. And then once it's put in place, it snaps off like boom, it snaps apart. And it's on there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. I just did this again. So yeah, and it actually, it actually did not hurt this time. When I first did it years ago with just a plain needle, I don't know, my 
tolerance was like really high back then so when I first did it it hurt like hell with a needle <laughs> I'm not gonna lie but this feels just the way it actually this this is probably better than even going okay first of all let me just make sure I use my words wisely if you are doing this at home versus doing it the old-fashioned way with a needle this is probably a better way than doing it the old-fashioned way I'm not an expert but it probably doesn't feel as painful as if you go to a tattoo shop and they actually stick the needle in your ear as well that seems a little bit more painful so this was so much better it has the directions on the back I know when my daughters got their ears pierced I took them to Claire's because I wanted them to have the experience but now they keep telling me oh I might want my ears pierced again I I'm gonna be honest I don't really want my kids to go all out like I used to do and get all these piercings um of course you always want to strive for your kids to be different and have high standards than you but they are still human and they're gonna go through their own you know life experiences but um so far my kids have two earrings if they ever came to me again and said mommy I want one more pair of earrings I would definitely do it myself um with these gold of course looks better on my skin but anything that's like silver or stainless steel of course is always cheaper than gold so that's why I always gravitate towards like if anything stainless steel I gravitate towards stainless steel because silver is not that expensive however silver is more like a platinum type of color to me like it's really it's brighter and stainless steel is kind of like grayish and dull so i kind of like the fact is that it's it's not so bright in texture if i make any sense like this one is stainless steel too on my nose but as you can see it's brighter than the stainless steel that's in my ear so I always want it to be a little bit darker stainless steel if I'm gonna get that this was only like $6.99 at Sally's for two earrings so if my daughters come to me and they say oh I want to get another set <laughs> it's kind of like oh whoa there <laughs> you know that'll be going in the three but <laughs> that's where I draw the line maybe three and if they came to me I would definitely do it with these they have like a gun there at the store where you can just purchase like the earrings and just place it in the gun itself and the gun was like $18 but these when it comes like this you can use this you could put this inside the gun but I just did it myself with my fingers without the gun so you could use it either way with the gun or without. I will have some more videos coming up soon. I just ordered some stuff from Ulta that I want to try there's the new elf camo concealer out so I ordered that in two shades I ordered some more of this you guys already saw me do, do a video with this mixing it with my foundation I might try to mix it with like a different foundation other than the one I did in my last video just to see if I get the same you know consistency as I did with the other foundation if you took time to watch this video again thanks for watching definitely rate comment and subscribe and I'm gonna get back to make another video for you guys soon I have my new camera so having this new camera is very motivational like I love the way it looks you guys let me know if you love the way it looks so thanks again and I'll talk to you guys